Hey kids, Tavio Rowdy here with another installment of Minecart Science, this time talking about minecarts going around curves. Someone by the handle Lord Reefus reported to me a problem that he was seeing, that minecarts were losing momentum when they were going around curves. Uh, let me show you, first of all, my first experiment was just comparing a single powered rail and then equivalent lengths of unpowered track with turning right, turning left, and going straight. And what you see here is that the one going straight had a little further distance to travel. It had this slight disadvantage. It didn't make it quite as far. Um, but that's not a big deal. It's just that the curved ones are cutting the corner. What Lord Reefus was reporting, though, is that when a minecart is going around a corner and there's blocks near that corner, the minecarts lose momentum. So here's equivalent ones. This is the exact same experiment as the turns over here, except I have this block here in the way. And you can see that the minecarts had a much more noticeable difference in their distance. This is about 20% of their momentum lost. And that's for one turn. If you had a situation when you had multiple turns, maybe snaking back and forth, going diagonally with close walls, you're going to lose a lot of momentum very quickly. Um, now, it really is uh, important to note the direction that this block has to be. It has to be where the cart is heading out and there's a block straight ahead and then it turns. That's when it rubs up against it. Uh, if we go back over here and modify things a little bit, I'll clear the tracks and put down a block. Now this is going to be on the side of the turn where the cart is not facing or if we put a block on the inside of the turn and same thing for the other direction and then put down some carts and see that they went exactly the same distance as last time. They, you know, just outpaced the one that had no curves at all a little bit. No problem at all. So it's only when the block is straight ahead. Uh, being the scientist that I am, I had to try this with double powered rails, see how this scales. Um, and this is the cases where there's no blocks interfering and you get the same pattern. Now notice the one that went straight. It only lost the same amount of distance compared to the other ones. So this is not a percentage difference. This is just it had a slightly longer distance to travel, so it didn't quite make it as far down the line. But when we go to the ones where we have this uh, friction issue, where they rub up against the block, here they lose more distance than before. They lost, last time, you can see off in the distance, they lost uh, about a minecart length. Here, it's almost two minecart lengths. So they're losing a percentage of their momentum as they're going around this turn. So that can be a real significant difference. And then just to be clear that it was curves that do this and not uh, just the obstacles, I have four very similar setups here. Um, this is an entirely unobstructed straight line, and then one with a barrier on the left, barrier on both sides, barrier on the right. And when we go over here, uh, it's a little hard to see, but they went the exact same distance. So it's only around turns that you have this problem. So, long story short, when you're designing your tracks, don't put a block on the outside of the turn like this. Uh, that's if this is a one-way track, if carts are only going in this direction. If they're going in both directions, then you have to worry about both sides. One uh, here for when carts are going in this direction, they'll rub up against that. And then on the way out, rubbing up against that one. So you want to avoid those kinds of blocks in your designs. I hope this helps, and thanks a lot for the bug report, Lord Reefus.